Okay, method two for solving rational equations. This time we're going to focus on cross-multiplying um, in contrast to our LCD method. So here we have two rational equations. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that one context for this is that this guy right here uh, is one rational expression. You can think of it as a graph that mm, looks like this. Okay. And this is also one of those, albeit maybe a little different shape. But we have two rational expressions. And we're looking for the x values that they have in place, either or, in other terms, the points of intersection. Okay. So that being said, we're going to use our new method to solve. So cross multiplying means that we're just going to take and multiply the denominator of one side across to the other, and then repeat it going the other way. Sometimes we've done this both ways, but I want you to notice that there's an x plus two times x minus 2 inherent in this denominator on this side. Okay, So we're going to use that to our advantage. So I'm going to slide that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by this x minus 2. I'm going to cross multiply this. It's equivalent to multiplying both sides by x minus 2. So what I'm going to get is the 8 times x minus 1 times our x minus 2 value, because I multiply both, both, both sides. And then I'm going to put this factored form down here. Okay. And what that's going to do for me, okay, that equals 4, is before I cross multiply the other way, I can simplify this. Okay. I can take out this one and this one. So in rare cases when we have two terms, if you see a common factor, just realize that you might be able to cancel one before going on. Okay, So let's write this as 8 times x minus 1 all over x plus 2 equals 4. And now we're going to cross multiply this way, multiply both sides by x plus 2. And I get 8 times x minus 1 equals 4 times x plus 2. Okay. Good. Now, that being said, all we have to do is follow some um, recommendations from early. And we will FOIL, factor or factor if necessary, and combine like terms. So, down here we're going to get 8x minus 8 and 4x plus 8. Okay, When I subtract 4x to both sides, so I'm going to do both steps together here. I'll have to do that because that will cancel those terms. And I'm going to add 8 to both sides Okay, to finish this off because that will cancel this term and this term. So what I'm going to be left with is 4x on this side. 8x minus 4x is 4x, and 8 plus 8 is 16. All right, let's divide both sides by 4, and x equals 4. Okay, all of our answers in this section of the unit are going to be one to two solutions for x okay, that uh, make this true. Again, think about the context. Two intersecting rational expressions. And this is the x-coordinate of that intersection. Before we end, I want to take a look at, at this again and talk about when to cross-multiply. Notice that there's just one term on each side, so it becomes really easy to cross-multiply. I could have cross-multiplied by the x squared minus 4 to this side as well, but you can see that that just would have added some square terms. Okay. Um, while these aren't totally unique denominators, when there are unique denominators, uh, it makes for more complicated uh, LCDs. So it's really easy just to multiply by both of those. So keep those two things in mind, that unique denominators like x plus 2 and x minus 3 uh, would, would beg really easy uh, use of cross-multiplying.